The Cleveland offense ready to go. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions, but some are worse than others. You can have an empty possession, pump the ball away, get yourself set to play defense, but when you turn it over, it changes momentum, and when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. A run for Nick Chubb. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. Chubb, the ball carrier. He was taken down by K.J. Wright. And now Mayfield on the bootleg. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. On the carry, it's Chubb. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. They yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. A gain of four. It's now second and six. A first carry now for Kareem Hunt. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. He was taken down by Bobby Wagner. A gain of a yard. Brings up. Working out of the gun. Mayfield steps away to his left. He'll leave it for Hunt complete. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. And they're going to at least line up to go for it here on fourth down. Now that'll be tipped. It's your pick, my boy. Picked off around the 41. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. When a team's turned it over three times in the first half, we just look at the offense and say, guys, what are you doing? But instead, we really should be looking at the defense. They've created the takeaways. Two interceptions, one cause fumble. They played awfully well swarming to the ball here in the first half. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it. And it took the ball off. Course. That was nice work there defensively to force in completion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. to throw again. Wilson forced out to his left. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. That's it's what I thought, my boy. Sam! Oh. Russell Wilson with two first... You about to quit, my boy? First half touchdown passes. And the Seahawks add on to their lead. Pete Carroll in that familiar hands-on-knees pose. His guys will go for two here. Wilson. This will be caught at about the five. And he will get into the end zone to extend the lead by two more. So they can get the two-point try and able to convert it, Charles. And a good job by the offense figuring out their two-point play and using it well. It's interesting how people are using the strategy nowadays, though, isn't it? It really is. And I don't know how much that one, that particular play factored in. But with the PAT moving back in 15-16, that kind of changed things, didn't it? It's really a part of everyone's strategy now. And when I talk with coaches and when we sit with them, they always talk about they actually have two point periods in practice now something they never really did before now chop and brought down but not before they're inside the 25 a good play there's the brown strike for 16 and a first down system 10 at the 22 yard line chop Making the stop that time, Bobby Wagner. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. A gain of five brings up second. Mayfield to throw it. 
And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. Seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home, and they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync. Only way to play. And Good throw, my boy. His third. Picked off inside the 10. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. We remind you that coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will be alongside. He'll have highlights and analysis from Orlando of this first half of action. He'll run it. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So he was past the line of scrimmage when he threw it. And as they say, that's a no-no. Got to be able to understand where you are on the field and not cross the line before throwing the ball downfield. Rolling to his right, airing it up, and got his man complete. And all the way down to the 40-yard line. It's a big play there for Seattle. 55 yards. To the right side, and he's got more complete. And he is out of bounds right around the 10 yard line. Boy, 30 more. 28 0 has house? Come on, my boy. You might have a quick. Hips in that secondary, and I suspect a lot of mumbling under their breath as well because this defense has had no answer for the passing game here in the first half. On first down, Wilson. And this will be caught by Metcalf for a Seahawks touchdown. Touchdown. Making a hat trick for Russell Wilson. Three touchdown passes now. Here the Seahawks are able to stretch that lead out a bit further. So now a two-point conversion attempt coming for Wilson and the Seahawks. Throwing again here, Wilson. And this is going to be caught. It's good. And that extends their lead by two more. He hits the big target for the two-point try. Defense is quick. Those guys, especially around the goal line. It's hard to decide who you're going to put on him. Are you going to put a smaller corner on him? Are you going to put a safety who doesn't have maybe the same coverage skills? How about a linebacker? He may have the size, but he's not used to really covering in space. That's why the tight end gives you such a great advantage when you're throwing the football. Jason Myers to kick off for Seattle. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. Peoples-Jones returning. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Browns drive about to get started. And they had a nice little drive going last time. Through the interception in the red zone. Costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about... Hey, we've got a shot at points already. We're already in a spot where you're thinking you've got three on the board for sure, and to come away with nothing, that's a really tough one for them to swallow. Yeah. Will they make up for it? Come on, my boy. Come on, my boy. You're trash. You're really trash. But remember, it's all about the ball. And without the ball, my boy. They just turned it over. Right. Now you got to be careful because that deficit can get a little bigger on the other side with that good field position they just took over with. He's going to look deep for more. Okay, it's real simple to save from here, but we know that sometimes as a quarterback, you've got to know when to say when and just throw it away. Flushed out to the right, tries to make something out of nothing here, and he winds up floating one downfield that gets intercepted. Following the interception, Mayfield. They'll go screen here to Hunt. And he'll go down for a loss inside his own five at the four. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. And that won't buy him much room. Just a one-yard gain to the five. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. And some room to work. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. 
Play action now. Here's Mayfield. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. Shaquille Griffin knocking it away that time in coverage. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. Mayfield. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. Oh, that's just not fair. And now room to run. And pass the 40 before he's out of bounds. It's Man, it's going to be high zero. It's a game over. See, man. Now Mayfield. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. They don't want to repeat a first down. They'll keep it on the ground. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. And how about this line out of the locker room? An onside kick attempt. The Seahawks with the advantage, and they get the football first as the second half is underway. A very interesting call and one that backfires. I know they're losing, Charles, but boy, to start the second half with the onside kick, risky. Felt like a sense of urgency from their side, coupled with, you and I both know the special teams coordinators, they sell their key plays each and every week to the head coach, don't they? And I guarantee he's been selling this one. We can get it, coach, we can get it. And that came together with that sense of urgency you talked about. And now the drive starts with a completion out to the right. A gain of six there on first. Throwing again on second down. Wilson dancing to his left. He's going to take off with it. Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. And I think the Browns got it. They did. You think about it, Charles. This is the magic. He's used to running the football a lot. In that time, he was loose with it, had it knocked free. He always has to think to himself that there's always going to be traffic around because of what you just said. Not that elusive. Not going to get to the open field very often. Remember, he's not Lamar Jackson, not Michael Vick back in the day. Always has to protect the football because there's always going to be people around. From the 44, Mayfield. And he gets it to his running back, Nick Chubb. Ain't doing and nothing. he'll take this into the end zone. I gave it to you on purpose, my boy. I gave it to you on purpose, my boy. You lost. Who's the stupid one? Like, brother, don't know you're doing an onside kick. Come on, man. And the Seahawks looks like they've recovered. They have. The risk reward of the onside kick. When you don't get it, the risk comes out to play. And here they gave up great field position. And that's the key to everything because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them. And field position leads you to that type of play calling. And whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep, those types of things, now that they've given up that type of field position, the advantage has switched to their opponent. B.J. Goodson there on the tackle. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. There's Wilson to throw. And he's taken down inside the 30. It's a first down on a gain of 10. It's a gain of 10. Here's Carson. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Adrian Claiborne, the one who makes the stop. Now they'll throw it with Wilson. That's complete into the hands of Carson. 
And he's going to be stopped up right at the line no, of scrimmage. No gain there, and it's going to bring up a third down. They tried to swing it out left into the flat, but the defense, they were very principled there. It felt very West Coast offense, didn't it? You know you know their expression, right? On a West Coast offense, when they throw the ball, it's either going to be a touchdown or a check down, meaning they like to press it downfield if they don't have it. Open is all city's got it. Touchdown, Seahawks. How is it fate? Is it the catching the ball? Second the afternoon, and the Seahawks find a way to stretch their lead. And that was a beautiful ball right there as he waited for his tight end to come up. He wide open. I didn't think. Patience as well. Delivered it right where it needed to be for six points. They go play action now. Wilson, his pass caught at the four. And he'll get into the end zone as the two-point conversion is successful. Jason Myers to kick off for Seattle. And the Browns are able to cover this one up. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it, it was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics will tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. Brings up second and eight. Buying time to his left. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. It's the veteran KJ Wright, the disruptive force. A loss of 13 yards. Brings up third down. Third and long for Mayfield. Being chased out left. He's going to look deep now for Landry. This is caught inside the 15. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. And they'll lose yardage here. They go backwards to the 13-yard line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. On second and 11 now, Mayfield, and his throw's going to be incomplete. Nick Chubb, the intended receiver, and it's third down. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. And he'll be brought down well short of the first at about the nine-yard line. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. And this is caught. Touchdown, Cleveland. The touchdown pass Mayfield to Landry. And the Browns get a score closer. And he's a little bit on the shorter. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. Falls incomplete. So the two-point conversion, no good. Okay, they went for the fake off of the, the extra point attempt. It's a long way to go, and they didn't get there. Didn't get it completed successfully. Did someone dare them to do that? Did, did, did someone double dog dare them to do that? Maybe that? They, they saw something on film, but do you see something on film with those to try something from the 15 on a PAT? I don't know. The only thing they needed to see on film there was a snap, a hold, and someone kicking the ball through the post. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four-minute football. And he is going to be taken down. And that should be the final play of this third quarter. In for the sack, Miles Garrett. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. And we're back now here in Cleveland. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Sliding out of the pocket. On the run, he'll let this go. Oh, wide open, complete. 
And he makes it all the way down to the 31. I thought that was going to work, my boy. <laughs> Good play that time for the Seahawks. 56 yards. They have the nice cushion. <laughs> they just want to pour it on right now, still throwing the football. And I know my background says, why do you need to do this? Just go ahead and run out the clock and get a win. But as many people pointed out to me, it's a video game, man. Go ahead. <laughs> and he is in for the Seattle. Nice job, my boy. David Moore with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Seahawks are running away with this one. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is there bad blood that went into this one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them? But the other thing that always hits me is, are they worried about playoff positioning? Right? Are they worried about, do you need enough points in case there's a tiebreaker that comes into play later? And the Browns are able to cover this one up. Uh, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we've brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Looking to throw again on second down. Mayfield, he'll get the first down and more inside the 20. And he's got it all the way down to the 12-yard line. 22 yards there, a first down the gun they run it with Hunt and he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown a 12-yard touchdown run and the Browns make some inroads here on that deficit so up comes Mayfield as his guys will go for two Mayfield now rolling to his left now they go screen it's complete and he will find the end zone again so he gets the touchdown and the two-point conversion and that'll cut this deficit down a little bit further now after the score it's parky on to kick it away and this carries into the end zone and only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Seahawks take over first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. All of a sudden, they have quite a bit of breathing room. This was a one-score game, but touchdowns on their last two drives, and now comfort is here, so to speak. <laughs> well, this is taken in. It's complete. And all the way down to the 35. It's a big play there for Seattle. 47 yards. Play action. Now Wilson. He'll buy some time right. Airing it out for Olsen. And give him another six. It's caught for a touchdown. And the blowout continues. They had the lead in the fourth, but still passing. Finding the big target for the touchdown. Now that lead grows even more. Everybody gets to join in the fun. You know, it doesn't have to just be the wide receiver. I'm black. He's all stupid. <laughs> Inside. He gets a chance to get to the end zone as well. I'm retarded. So the lead as they to I'm black, my boy. <laughs> I'm from New Orleans, my boy. What you gonna do? <laughs> from New Orleans. Five oh four. New Orleans. Five oh four, my boy. Down here's Myers to boot it away. This one taken just inside the ten. Ah, very useful. This drive will start at the twenty-five yard line. Twenty-five yard line. But that boy named Donkey. The 
Cleveland offense ready to go. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes. Now he ain't touched down, my boy. The first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You I said I give you a touchdown. I got you. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. That was the point, my boy. All my people are going straight through the middle. You went through the outside. And you will be taken down, but it is a huge play there to flip field position. And they'll be on the other side of the field as we have reached the two-minute warning. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. They'll run with Chubb. You got it, though. <laughs> he just said you ain't want it. You were dumb, son. He just said, I don't want it. Not all right, Ain't no wrong with getting blown up by Tony either. Because they really essentially were just going to swarm the quarterback. They kind of guessed themselves out of the play. And guess who benefited? The guy with the football. Cody's Parkey set to kick off. Now after the score, it's Parkey on to kick it away. This taken in about four yards deep. And this will come out to the 25 as Reed opts for the touchback. 25-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. They'll roll him out right. And that one falls incomplete. A 50-50 ball. A little dangerous. Could have been picked. Now it's third down. When you look at the scoreboard, you'd think they'd be pretty comfortable right now with this lead. But these guys are absolutely not going to let up. They want to increase their lead, and they want to do it with a big play. Unable to connect in that attempt. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Play action. It's Wilson on the move to his left. Now he'll let it go on the run. Deep left, and it's caught inside the 30. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now Wilson off the play fake. Flushed out right. Out to the right, he gets it to lock it. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and it'll be second and very short. Wilson, after the play fake to Carson, steps away. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. David Moore, the intended target, and it's third down. After what they faced during this game, where they've given up a ton of yards downfield, there has to be a measure of revenge right there for the secondary. They've been shredded throughout the game and finally forced an incompletion. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. Off play action. Wilson eluding the pressure right. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Denzel Ward right there in coverage to get the hand in. One thing that offensive guys stress when they throw the deep ball, you're just counting on your receiver to find it, adjust before the defensive back can get his head around. In this case, though, the DB matched it move for move and knocked it away. And he's got Lockett. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pickup through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal. Off the play fake. Wilson out to his left. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Grant Delpit. He's at the 50. <laughs> what a score, man. I don't really care. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Browns defense has a touchdown. 
Yeah, you probably the worst ever beat somebody on Madden. You try. Uh, now you don't play the game. Oh, uh, here we go. So they tried to tack on two more Trump. wouldn't have mattered Trump. as far as who won and who lost, but that's how this one ends. Felt like cosmetics, didn't it? Just put another two points on the board, make the score look a little bit better. Maybe they wanted to run a two-point conversion just to see what they had. Who knows? But it just wasn't necessary.